welcome you all in this lecture of the multiple integral. Today I am going to discuss the change of order of integration. Sometimes it becomes very easy to integrate or double integral by changing the order of integration. Now for the change of order of integration, we draw the we draw the region of the integration with the help of the horizontal or vertical strip. Now with the help of this horizontal or vertical strip, we will find out our limits and then we can integrate the double integral. So here I am not going in the theory. So let us start with the problem. And the first problem is to change the order of integration. To change the order of integration in the double integral x equal to 0 to a, y equal to 0 to x then fxy dx dy. So let us start with this problem. Now a solution here you can see that your x is in your x is constant limit and your y is in terms of x. That means initially we have taken a particular strip that is why we have the limit of y in terms of x. Now in our case as we have to change the order of integration now we will take the horizontal strip so that the limit of x become in term of y or the limit of x is in term of y. So let us draw the region. Now first of all you can see that the value of y is from 0 to x. So we have y equal to 0 here and your y equal to x is this line. So the values of y are from 0 to x, then the boundary is. Now your x is from 0, this is your x equal to 0, or this is your x equal to 0 line. Now the values of x are from x equal to 0 to x equal to a line. So that means these are the boundaries and this is your region. So that means your required region is this one. So this is the required region. Now in our case, you initially you have given the limits of y in terms of x. Now for the change of integration, we will take the limit of x in terms of y. So for that, we will take the horizontal strip. So let us take this horizontal strip. Now this at this point, we have y equal to a and x equal to a. Now change of order of integration is now initially the limits of x are constant now we will have the limit of y as a constant so the value of y at the lowest point of this strip just take this just move this strip at the lowest point so here we will have y equal to 0 and then move the strip towards the highest point and at this point our y is a so the values of y are from 0 to a and then the limits of x just take the end points of the strip. At this end point, our x is y, and at this point, our x is a. So your x will be from y to x equal to a. Then we have f x y. Now we will change our order of integration. So this will become d y to dx. So your change of order of integration is y equal to zero to a, x equal to y to x equal to a, f x y d y dx. Now the next question is to, to change the order of integration of the double integral to change the order of integration in the double integral 0 to 2 1 to e power x and then dx dy and hence evaluate it and you have to also evaluate this double integral. So your solution now in this case you can see that here you can see that your y is in terms of x. Now we will find out our x in terms of y. So for that we will take a horizontal strip. Now the values of y say this is your y equal to 0 now here you can see that the value of y is from 1, so say this line is y equal to 1, to y equal to e power x. 
so at at y equal to at your x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 your y will be if you put x equal to 0 then we will have each power 0 so we will have y as 1 so this curve will be this one y equal to e power x so this is your e to power x and the intersection of y equal to 1 and y equal to e to power x will give you 1 comma 0 comma 1 now let us find out the boundaries these are the limits of y so we, we have the region between this line to this curve now the values of x are from 0 so this is your x equal to 0 line to x equal to 2 so this is your x equal to 2 line so the required region is this one so this is our required region initially we have the limits of y in terms of x now we will take the limits of x in terms of y so the change of order is given by the change of order of integration here your y will be from 1 and at this point when your x is 2 your y will be e square so your y will move from 1 to e square and then your x here if you take log then your x will be log y at this point and here we have x equal to 2 so your x will move from log y to 2 then we will have dy dx so this is the change of order of integration now this is equal to so the integration with respect to x will give you integration from 1 to e square then the integration of dx will be your x so we have 2 minus log y and then dy now the integration of 2 with respect to y will be your 2y and then the limits from 1 to e square then we will have minus sign and now the integration of log y from 1 to 2 now this can be written as your 1 into log y now this is your 2 into e square minus 2 now integration of 1 into log y will be integration of 1 will be your y then we will have minus sign integration of 1 will be y and then the difference of log y will be 1 upon y so we have 1 and the integration of 1 is 1 so we have again limit from 1 to e square so this is your 2 e square minus 2 then we have e square now this will be your log e square so this will be a 2 log e so this will be a 2 and for the low level we will have log 1 log 1 is 0 so again we have minus e square plus 1 now this 2 e square this 2 e square will get cancelled so we have minus 2 then here we will have plus e square and we have minus 1 so the answer is equal to e square minus so the answer is equal to e square minus 3 so this is the solution of this problem then let us change the order of integration in the double integral now let us change the order of integration in the double integral due to 1 then we have x square to 2 minus x xy dx dy and evaluate it and then you have to evaluate this double integral so solution now you can see that your y is from x square to 2 minus x that means one is the parabola and other is the straight line so let us draw the region of integration your x square equal to 4ay will be this parabola then we have the line y equal to 2 minus x so your y equal to 2 minus x will be this line so this is your y equal to 2 minus x then this is your parabola y equal to x square now let us find out the intersection now at this point so the your region is between this y equal to x square and this y equal to 2 minus x and that can be either this region or even if you take this 
line to here, then the area between y y equal to x square and y equal to minus x will be either this part or this part. Now it will depend on your boundaries. Now this intersection point is equal to this put y equal to x square here. So this will be your so let us find out the intersection point. So intersection points are put the value of y equal to x square here. So we have x square equal to 2 minus x. So we have x square plus x minus 2. So that means we have the factor as x plus 3 into x minus 2. Now this will be your x plus 2 into x minus 1 equal to 0. So from here we can see that our x is 1 and x equal to minus 2. So that means your intersection points are 1 comma your if your x is 1 then you can see that your y is 1. So we have the intersection point as 1 comma 1 and again if you put x equal to minus 2 then this y will be 4. So this is your minus 2 comma 4. So that means the intersection point of the parabola and the straight line are 1 comma 1 and minus 2 comma 4. Now this implies that y equal to 1 comma 4. So if you put x equal to 1 then your y will be 1 and if you put x equal to minus 2 your y will be 4. Therefore 1 comma 1 and minus 2 comma 4 are two intersection points. So these are the intersection points. Now let us find out the boundaries of the region of integration. So these are the values of y. So our y is from 2 minus x to y equal to x square. Then let us take the boundary. This is your limit of x. So we have x equal to 0. So this is your x equal to 0 line. So we have x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. And this is your x equal to 1. So that means, so this is your required region of integration. Because the boundaries should be from 0 to 1. So we have x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 region. And then the area should be between parabola and the straight line. So this is your parabola and a straight line. We cannot take this part because this will be your area between parabola and x-axis. But we need the area between parabola and this particular line. We can also not take this region because this will be your this will be your region between parabola and straight line, but your boundary will be outside of x equal to 1. So we have to between x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. And again the region should be between y equal to x square and y equal to 2 minus x. So this is the required region of the integration. Now in originally we have the limits of y in terms of x. Now we take the limits of x. So that means we will take the horizontal strip. So if you take a horizontal strip at this point. So if we draw the horizontal strip at this point, then we will have this horizontal strip. Now move, move this horizontal strip. So if you move this horizontal strip, then you can see that at this point, our limit will get changed. So here we have the limit of x at 0, here we will have x is 2 minus y. But at this point, your x will become 1. So we will break at our horizontal strip giving as our limits are getting changed at this point so that means we will take two different horizontal strip because at this point our limit are getting changed so let us assume the origin as o a b c d then at this point a our horizontal limit horizontal strip will have the different limits so now we will take two region so the required region will be your o a b d o and we will break this region in two parts for the change of order of integration because we need the horizontal strip and for that the change of order will be given in two parts that will be from o a b 
and then we will have A, B, D. So the change of order is given by, so your change of order is your change of order of integration is given by the double integral. Now we will have two region of integration. One will be your O A D and then in the bracket we have the function x y and now this limit will get changed so we will have dy into dx. Then the second region is your a, b, d and then again we have x, y, d, y, d, x. So the we have done the order of integration. Now let us find out the limits. Initially our limits were in terms of x. Now we need the limit of x in terms of y. So here you can see that your x is 0 and at this point your x is 2 minus y. So the values of x from 0 to 2 minus y. This is your OAD. Now for OAD, for OAD, your x will be from 0 to this point. Now this point is in the parabola. And here we have x as square root of y. So your x will be from 0 to square root of y. And your y will be from 0 to 1. So we have y as 0 to 1. Then for the second part, here your x will be from 0 to 2 minus y and your y will be from this point is your 1 and at this point your x is 0. So we have y as 3, y as 2. So for this region, your y will move from 1 to 2 and then we have x, y, dy, dx. Now let us integrate this one because we also have to evaluate this integral. So the value of this double integral is given by, now let us as we have the values of x in term of y, so first integral with respect to x. So we have y equal to 1, y dy, now the integration of x will be your x square by 2 and the limits are from 0 to root y. Then for the second part, your integration of x will be again x square by 2. So we have limits from 0 to 2 minus y. Now this is equal to y equal to 0 to 1. Now this is your square root of y whole square. So this is your y. So we have y square dy divided by 2. Then we will have y equal to 1 to 2. Now this will be your 2 minus y whole square. y into 2 minus y whole square divided by 2 into dy. Okay. Now the value of the first part is now the integration of y square will be your y cube by 3. So the first part is 1 by 6. Now for the second part let us open this bracket. So this will be your integration from 1 to 2. We will have the a minus b whole square will be this will be your a square so we have 2y so 4y then we will have plus b square so we have y square so this will be your y cube then we have minus 4y so this will be minus 4y square d1 and again this is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 and the integration of y will be y square by 2 so we have 2y square then we have y power 4 by 4. Then integration of y square will be y cube over 3. So we have 4 y cube over 3. And then the limits from 1 to 2. And this is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2. Now if you put y equal to 2, then this will be 4 to the 8. This will be your 16 upon 4. So we have 4. This will be over 8 into 4 minus 32 upon 3. And if you put y equal to 2, then this will be minus 2 minus 1 by 4. Let's go back to it. So this is equal to 1 by 6. Now let us 
simplify this bracket so we have 8 plus 4 as 12 minus 2 so this is your 10 minus 32 upon 3 plus 4 by 3 so this will be minus 20 upon 3 minus 1 by 4 and this is equal to 1 by 6 plus say 5 or you can write it as 2 by 3 so this will be a 1 by 3 this will be 30 minus 28 so this will be 2 by 3 so this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 8 so your answer will be 24 so we have 4 plus 8 minus 3 so this will be your 8 plus 4 will be 12 minus 3 so 9 upon 24 so this is your 3 upon 8 so that means your answer is equal to 3 upon 8 now let us change the order of integration in the problem now let us change the order of integration question change the order of integration in the double integral 0 to a sin n for and then x tan n for 2 and root a square minus x square f x y dx dy. So let us have the change of integration in this problem. So our solution first of all let us draw the region of integration. Here you can see that your y is from x and alpha to this circle. So the circle is this one. This is your standard circle, the center at 0, 0 and radius as a. And we can say that your this will be your y equal to 10x line, y equal to x and alpha. And the region of integration is between this line and the circle. So we have the line and here we have the circle. So now let us find out the intersection point. So point of intersection are given by this is your y equal to under root a square minus x square. So we have y square plus x square equal to a square. And again we have y equal to 10x alpha, also y equal to x 10 alpha. So therefore put the value of y here. So we have x square 10 square alpha plus x square equal to a square. So your 1 plus 10 square 3 is x square theta. So your x will be a square plus x square alpha. So your x is equal to a cos alpha. So your x is equal to cos alpha. So from here if you put the value of x here then this will be your a cos alpha upon into sin alpha upon cos alpha. So your x y will be your a sin alpha. So the point of intersection is a cos alpha comma a sin alpha. And again this is your 0 comma a. Now initially we have the limits of y in terms of x. Now let us discuss about the boundaries. Here you can see that this is your limit of x. So we have x equal to 0, so this is your x equal to 0 and again we have x equal to a sin alpha and here you can see that this is your, this will be your a cos alpha not a sin alpha, this has to be a cos alpha because we have y equal to x sin alpha so we will have this one as a cos alpha. Now here you can see that if you put the boundaries are from x equal to 0, so this is your x equal to 0 line and up to x equal to a cos alpha and this is your x equal to a cos alpha line. So this is your x equal to a cos alpha. So that means we have to be between this parabola and this is we have to be between the origin of integration is between this circle and this straight line. So this is your circle and this is your straight line and the boundaries are between x equal to 0 to x equal to a. 
so these are the boundaries and the region is between the circle and the student so that means again this is your required region so this is your required region of integration so your required region is o a b now again if you take the originally we have the limit of y in terms of x now we will take the horizontal step so for that our x has to be in terms of y now if you take the horizontal strip then you can see that at this point a our limit will get changed so again we will break our region of integration in two parts one is from o a c and then the second part will be your a b c so the required region of required change of order of integration is given by change of order of integration is given by the given integral o a c and then we have f x y then we will write d y d x and then the second part will be o a b c here we are going here we are here we have break this region in two parts because at this point a our horizontal limit of x is getting changed so we have taken two region of integration and for the second region of integration that means for a b c we have f x y dy dx so this is equal to now for the first part o a b your x is from 0 to this line so we have your x at 0 to y quantum alpha so we have y quant alpha and then the limits of y will be from 0 to a sin alpha so this is your first part and for the second part the limit of x will be from this point that is your straight line x equal to 0 to this circuit and here we will have x this is your x square plus y square equal to a square so your y will be your x will be under a square minus y square so here we have x as 0 to under a square minus y square and then the values of y will be from a sin alpha to a so your y will be on a sin alpha to a then we have fx y dy dx so this is the change of order of integration of this problem now our next problem is to change the order of integration in the problem our next problem is our next problem is to change the order of integration in the double integral 0 to 2a x square plus 4a to 3a minus x fxy dx dy so let us have the change of order of integration in this double integral here your y is from this parabola to this is straight line. So your point of intersection is given by point of intersection is given by just put the value of y here. So we have 4a into y that means 3a minus x equal to x square. So we have x square plus 4a x plus minus 12 a square equal to 0 so we have x plus 6a and x minus 2a as factor so the value of x will be 2a to minus 6a so your x is from 2a the point of the value of x is 2a and 6 minus 6a and your y will be and if you put the value of x as 2a then your y will be a and if you put x equal to minus 6a then this will be 9a and I have already given you the solution of such type of problem so here you can see that this is just like this problem so 
let us draw the diagram. Here we have a parabola, which is your x square to four a y. So this is your x square to four a y. Then we have a straight line, which is this one, and this is your y equal to three minus x, and your point of intersection are two a comma a, and then we have the point of intersection at when your x is 2 minus 6a, we have y as 9a and we have to be between this parabola and this straight line and your boundaries are from x equal to 0 to x equal to 2a so these are your boundaries so we have to be between this 0 to this 2a and this will be a required region of integration again as in my previous problem we will break our region of integration in two parts because the horizontal strip is having two different limits at this point. So our region of integration is equal to say this is your O, A, B and C. So your change of order of integration is given by is equal to first we have the double integral. O A B then we have f x y now we will write d y d x then we have the portion A B C f x y d y d x now let us find the values of x initially we have the values of y in terms of x now we will find out the value of x in terms of y so for this region O A B your x will be from 0 to this parabola and at this parabola, our x will be 2 root a y. And the values of y will be from 0 to a. And for the second part, we will have x from 0 to this line, and this is your through a minus y. And your y will be from a. And now at this point, your if your x is 0, then we have y as 3, so y will move from a to 3 and the limit of change of order of integration is this one. So this is your change of order of integration for this problem. Now, the change of order of integration for the question when we have a circuit and parabola. So change the order of integration in the question x equal to 0 to a, x equal to 0 to 2a, then under 2a, x minus x square 2, under 2ax, then we have some function of xy into dx dy. So now let us have the change of order of integration for this double integration. Now please note that this is your circle and this is your parabola. So the region of integration is between the circuit and parabola. So solution, first let us find out the point of intersection. So from here we have y square plus x square equal to 2x and from here we have y square equal to 2x. Now just to put the value of y square here, so we have 2x plus x square equal to 2x. So from here we have x equal to 0. And if your x is 0, then from here we have y equal to 0. So therefore, 0 comma 0 is the point of intersection. So we have only one point of intersection which is your 0 comma 0. Now let us draw the region of integration. Now let us draw the region of integration. So now this is your circuit with the center of a comma zero and radius a. So here we have a circuit so we have a circle and then we have a parabola which is your right hand parabola so this is your parabola so
So now we have to be between here, here you can see that the only point of intersection is 0, 0. So this is your only one point of intersection which is your origin that means 0, 0. We have the center as a comma 0, so this is your center. So this will be your 2a comma 0 and here the center is a comma 0. Now let us discuss about the boundaries. So your y is between now we have the required region of integration is between this circuit and this parabola. So this is your region of integration. Now what about the boundaries? Your x is varying from 0 to 2a. Here we have x equal to 0 and this is your x equal to 2a line. So we have x equal to 2a at this point. So that means your required region of integration is this part. That means between circle to parabola and again between these two boundaries. So the region of integration is this portion. Initially we have the values of y in terms of x. Now we need the values of x in terms of y. That means for that we need the horizontal strip. So if you draw the horizontal strip at this point, then at the left point we are at this parabola and here we are at this circle. But at here this point is your a comma a. Now if you move this strip up to this point, then you can see that at this point your limit will get changed because now if you move this strip from this point to the higher point then at this point this the right point of this strip will left this circle and we will get the value of x from this this parabola to this line. So for that we will divide this region of integration in three parts. So let us draw a horizontal line at this point. So this is your a so we have o a say this is your o a b c and then d b and finally e. So here we have divided our region in three parts. So we will take three horizontal strip. Now this is your point in the parabola and at this point our x will be your y square upon 2a. Now this is your at the circuit. So let us find out the value of x in this point, at this point. So we call your x square minus this is your you are at the circuit so let us find out the value of x here so we have x square minus 2x plus y square equal to 0 so your x will be minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a so this is your a plus minus under a square minus y square so this is the value of x at this point so your change of order of integration is given by so our change of order of integration change of order of integration is given by now please know that we have three region one is your o a b then we have fxy or the function bxy then our limit will get changed and so we will write dy dx then we have the region a b a d c then again we have the region a d e Now, for the first part, that is for O A B, our x is from 0. Now, your left point is on the parabola. So, on the parabola, your x is y square upon 2a. So, this is your y square upon 2a, 2. Now, this point is on the circle. So, at this point, your x will be less than a because this is your a. So as we are behind this a, so your x will be a minus something. So we will need, we will take the negative sign here. So your x will be a minus under a square minus y square 
and then the values of y from 0 to a. So this is your first integer. And for the second integer, for the second integer b a d c your x is y square point 2 a to x equal to 2 a line. Then our y will be now here we have y at a. Now at this point, at this point, this is your y square equal to 2x. If you put x equal to 2a, then your y will be again 2a. So this is your 2a comma 2a. So your y will move from a to 2a. Then we have dx y, dy dx. Then for the third part, that is for this part, your a d e, your x will be from this left point. Now this left point is on the circuit and as we are as the value of x is more than a so we will take the plus sign here so we will have x equal to a plus under a square minus y square to 2a and the value of y will be from 0 to a and then we have bxy d1 dx this is the required change of order of integration of this problem now our last problem is to change the order of integration Now let us change the order of integration in the problem when your x is from 0 to a and your y is from 0 to b on b plus x. Now here you can see that solution your y is from 0 to b on b plus x. This is your rectangular hyperbola. So, we have y equal to 0 here and then we have this y equal to b upon b plus x. Now, let us find out the, okay. Now, let us find out the region of integration. Now, if you put your x at 0, then this is your x equal to 0. Now, for the boundaries, if you put x equal to a as this line, so at this point x equal to a or y will be b upon b plus a. So again we have initially the limits in terms of y. Now in the back we have fx y dx dy. Initially we have the limits in terms of y. Now we take the limits in terms of x. For that we need the horizontal strip. Now you can see that one horizontal strip is this one. Now again at this point our limit will get changed so let us break the region in two parts that is one part is O A B C and the second part is this part and take the horizontal region this one. So your change of order of, of integration is given by so the change of order of integration equal to now we have two portions one will be your O A B C then we have F X Y D Y D X and then the second part will be your C B D E and then we will have F X Y D Y D X now for this first part your X will be from 0 to X equal to A line and then your value of y will be from 0 to b upon b plus a fxy dy dx and for the second part your x will be from 0 to this part now we are on the hyperbola so at this point let us find out the value of x so as we have y equal to b upon b plus x so this is your dy plus dx equal to b. So your y will be. So your y will be b into one minus x from b. So your y will move from your x will be from. Now we need the value of x. So this will be your x equal to b into one minus y upon b. So your x will be from zero to 
v upon y. So v into 1 minus y upon y and then our y will be formed. Now this is your list point. So we have v upon v plus a. Then there is no end point because the region is infinite. So we have the value of y as infinite. So fx y dy dx. So this is the required region of indication. So this is all about the change of order of indication. Thank you so much for joining this lecture. Now in the next lecture, I will discuss about the change of order of indication in my polar coordinates and then we will discuss about the change of variable. Thank you.